just don't fall victim to the there's more fish in the sea because you have to understand a lot of these fish out here is dead. You don't want those. I like it. I want it. I got it. I charge my crystals in a full moon. I want it. I got it. I get everything I want because I attract. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Virgo Therapy. Today we are discussing infidelity. We'll be giving you guys three tips as to how you can have a successful relationship after infidelity if you choose to stay. Okay, so me and I, we broke it down into three steps that we feel is the most important to have a successful relationship. So the first step is having the hard conversations. I know nobody wants to, nobody want to hear the the grueling information and details, but you need this information so that you can decide whether this is something that you can even forgive. When you have these talks, you want to find out who the person is or where it might have occurred so that, you know, you don't want to find out later that the person was your best friend or your boss or a family member. During this time, you're going to gain all information you need to make a solid decision on whether this is something you can move forward with and forgive. So if you guys are able to get through the, get through the process of having a hard conversation, you'll then move to step two, which would be accountability. And by accountability, I mean your partner has to be willing to accept the consequences for their actions. And with the work, they'll be willing to communicate properly, talk as much as you need to, um, go through those emotional moments when you need to, and just continue to show up for you and do what they need to do in order to be forgiven for their actions. Um, a lot of times I find that with infidelity, people think that you could just talk about it once and it'll be a done deal. and then. We could brush it under the rug. It's a lot that comes along with infidelity, like as far as like you being broken down emotionally, your confidence being taken away, and you, your spirit just being broken. So yeah. it's a lot that has to be rebuilt with infidelity. Yeah. So it's not a time limit of your person won't be able to put a time limit on when you heal. Yeah. Like that time it depends on you and you solely. So they have to just be willing to do the work and accept the consequences. And also to add not only the account accountability for the cheater, but also accountability for the cheatee. You also want to take accountability for the part that you might have played and the reason why your person stepped out in the first place. During the conversation, you find all the information out. And moving on to step three, which we find is the most important in all relationships, uh, is trust. So I feel that the cheatee has the right to set the rules and the boundaries. So if you find out that your mate cheated with, say, like a coworker or someone on a dating app or Instagram or something like that, you can you have the right to say, well, I no longer feel comfortable with you attending company parties or I feel like I should have access to your accounts. This is not to say that you should overdo it because it's still a matter of trust. You want to give this person the the room to be trustworthy. Right, right. And I will also say that if you're going to choose to stay, do not think that just because your partner was the one that did the cheating, mm -hmm. that you don't have to do nothing to progress the relationship. You still have to show up as well. You can't sit around and be bitter. You can't sit around and be angry. You can't sit around and just be treating your partner different and just being... A negative person through the process because that'll just set you guys back 10 steps you have to be willing to still show up for your partner still nurture your partner still make time for your partner communicate with them properly in a polite manner because just because they did the action you still have to show up for them if you're choosing to stay absolutely absolutely you still have to do your part you want to make sure you at least try to make sure that your relationship is better than it was previously because whatever was happening it wasn't working before yeah and just because they were the ones that did the cheating don't mean that you don't have to step your game up mm -hmm. in order if you're going to get through the process of staying after infidelity y'all both as a whole have to step your game up you always have to be willing to show up in your relationship just as much as your person got to be willing to Put in the work and put in the effort and show up for you as well. Yeah, this is the time to love each other even harder, even more. So if this is a relationship that you find valuable, uh, 
you because you were cheated on doesn't mean that you no longer have to put forth the effort as well. And you have to be honest with you. When you make that decision to stay, whether you make it to stay, whether you make it to leave, mm -hmm. make sure that decision is solely based on you because at the end of the day, this is your life. You have to live with that decision. So if you walk away because of what somebody else told you and then now they're not going to always be there. Yeah. And your moments when you hurt or you going through it, they're, they're going to be living their life while you got to sit with the decision that you decided to make off of what they told you. So make sure your decisions is made solely off of you because you have to live with that decision and not no one else. Absolutely. Just know your why's. Know why you're staying. That is very, very crucial. Always remember why you chose to stay in this relationship so that when, you know, your friends might say things like, oh, no, she I would never do that. She's stupid or whatever the case is, because you hear that. Um, it's frowned upon when people stay with people that cheated on them. So you should know your why and, and, and not let anybody shake your why. You stay firm in the fact that you believe in this person still, you still believe in this relationship. And I believe with that information, your relationship can be saved. Yes, I do believe that. And just don't fall victim to the, there's more fish in the sea because you have to understand a lot of these fish out here is dead. You don't want those. <laughs> a lot of these fish are dead. So don't fall victim to that because it ain't no fish in the sea. The grass is going to be greener wherever you water it. And you got to understand that sometimes your relationship might be more valuable to stay. It might have a lot of value to it. Yeah. So just because everybody on the outside is like, I would never stay with nobody that cheated on me. They might not have a relationship that had value to it. So it's easier for them to leave. But if you got some value to your relationship and you're willing to stay, Make sure the decision is based on what you want and you're comfortable with that decision. As long as your approval, as long as you're approving of your decision, that's all that matters. That's what everybody true. else thinks, it doesn't matter. That's true. Stand firm. Stand on business. <laughs> Stand on business, baby. We thank you guys for tuning in into our video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to anybody that you feel that it may be beneficial for. Thank you. That's a wrap, y'all. That's a wrap, y'all. <laughs>